Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the HP Touchpad tablet, which normally ships with WebOS, but this version is running Google Android, uh, thanks to CyanogenMod, a team of developers who have ported Android to run on the tablet. Currently, it's running version uh, Alpha 2. It's uh, still an Alpha release, a little bit rough around the edges. Today, they released Alpha 3, which is a little bit less rough around the edges. It includes a number of fixes that, among other things, should prevent it from uh, having the so-called sleep of death, which means that it uh, goes to sleep and fails to wake up. Uh, should also fix Wi-Fi problems, although I haven't had a lot of Wi-Fi problems, a lot of other people have reported that they have. So I want to show you how quick and easy it is to uh, download and install the update. Uh, first, you just go to the uh, forum page of the Roots Wiki, and you can find information on how to do that at lilliputing.com. And then you uh, download the Alpha 3 file, uh, which I've already done here, and I'll just show you the download page. So I actually went ahead and downloaded it directly on my touchpad. You can also download it on a computer and copy it to the touchpad if you prefer, but I've got it on here and it's saved in my download directory. And uh, just to make it easier to find, let's go to the file manager. Go into our download directory. Move to our root directory. And now when we go to the root directory, we should see it. It's update 7.1 uh, tenderloin A3 full of bugs signed zip. So now it's going to be really easy to find, and I'll show you what to do next. Press and hold the power button, choose Reboot, and we want to reboot to Recovery, and click OK. Now it's going to bring us to Clockwork Mod Recovery. In order for this work, you'll have to have installed Clockwork Mod on your device. Which, if you followed our instructions for installing Android in the first place, you hopefully did. And now we want to scroll down using the volume keys to navigate and we're gonna click the option that says install zip from SD card. And then we're gonna use the home button to select it. We want to choose zip from SD card. And then again using the volume keys we're gonna scroll down until we find the correct one and there it is, since we put it in the root directory. You could also scroll through to your download directory and click home to get into it, but this is easier. And it says update CM7.1 Tenderloin A3 full of bugs, sign zip, home to select, scroll down to yes, home to select, and now it's installing. Sorry for the glare, it's a little bit later in the evening and uh, the lamp in this room is kind of shining right at the tablet. I probably should have done something about that. So you can see here it's uh, finding the update package, opening the update package, and installing the update. And we've got a progress meter. And that's it. Uh, in order to go back, we can either hit the power button to go back, or you can scroll all the way down until you get the go back button. And once you get back to the main screen, click reboot system now with the home, and it should reboot. It might take a little bit longer to reboot than usual, uh, because this is the first time booting after the update, but uh, I'm not really sure. This is the first time I've done it since installing Alpha 3, so let's see. We've got the Cyanogen Mod boot logo.
Now, if you haven't installed Android before, you can also follow instructions at lilliputing.com to uh, install it for the first time using Alpha 3. You don't have to start with Alpha 1, you can start with Alpha 3. But in order to do that, you're going to need to download an application called Acme Installer onto your computer, plug your touchpad into your computer with a USB cable, and uh, run the Acme Installer program. There's a whole bunch of other steps involved. Uh, I highly recommend you go and check out Lilliputing's article, How to Install Google Android uh, with Signage and Mod on the uh, HP Touchpad, and that'll walk you through the whole process and also give you uh, tips for installing the Google Android Market and some other applications. So normally when it boots Android, it does boot more quickly than this. It's taking a little bit longer because this is the first time booting after installing Alpha 3. And there we go. So we are booted. And uh, I'm not really sure that we're going to see much in here that demonstrates that we're running the right version now. Um, but we have rebooted and we should be running Alpha 3 now. If we go to About Tablet. Um, yeah, it all sort of shows the same. Oh, no, it does say Mod Version Alpha 3. So you can tell that you're running the new version. And uh, hopefully, if you uh, put your tablet to sleep by pressing the power button, it will come back on. I could be wrong, but I think that that uh, animation for turning off the screen might also be new. Anyways, this is Brad Linder with the HP Touchpad showing you how to install Signage and Mod Alpha 3. And you can find more details at lilliputing.com and at rootswiki.com.